Hey everyone, it's John Tam here again, and today I want to talk about sayings, proverbs, and maxims. Now, sayings, proverbs, and maxims are important because they encapsulate the human experience in a pithy few words. Now, if you think they're important, leave a comment below and let me know what are the sayings, proverbs, and maxims that you think are important. If you don't think they're important, let me know why you don't think they're important. Now, the two sayings I want to talk about today is the devil is in the details versus don't sweat the details, right? And both of these sayings essentially reflect trait openness and trait conscientiousness. In terms of trait openness, it's about your ability to focus on the details. So those who are higher in trait openness tend to have uh, more imagination to explore new ideas. Those who are lower in trait openness tend to focus on implementing ideas and the details. This is regulated by our dopaminergic system. Trait conscientiousness is basically our ability to focus versus our ability to be flexible in the workplace. Now, obviously, there's use for both of these qualities in the workplace. So if you're in a detail-oriented job, um, such as accounting, or working with legal documents, you want to be able to focus on the details because the details matter in this case, right? The difference of an extra zero or not makes a huge difference. Um, on the other hand, you want to be flexible in certain tasks as well. So certain tasks such as customer relations or sales or marketing requires a lot of multitasking. You got to get the job done and move on. Right? Sometimes the details are not exactly what's required, um, such as you don't need a high level of perfectionism in these types of tasks. So why I'm bringing this up is because these sayings encapsulate a lot of wisdom. And the fact that people are placed in different positions could lead to very different outcomes in terms of success. And so my question for you is, how are you placing your people in positions to succeed? Trade conscientiousness, for example, is biologically predisposed, mostly regulated by our testosterone. And so these things you need to check before you put people in positions. Now, mind you, after they have the personality for it, they can develop the skill set for it. So once again, we got to make it very clear that personality does not equate to competence. Competence can be developed, but personality is something that is nature. If you like this post, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and share it. And also, don't forget to follow and subscribe. Take care.